In this video, we are discussing JSON and BSON introduction. JSON is having the full form that is a JavaScript object notation and BSON is nothing but binary JSON. So, this is the BSON here. So, let us discuss more about them into details. So, what is JSON? So, the JSON is JavaScript object notation is a format to store and interchange data. And here this format is human readable format. We can read the respective data there. And here this format is key value pair. So, JSON is user readable and completely language independent. So, from which language program or application you are trying to read the data from the JSON. So, that is independent. So, that is a language independent. So, it is lightweight and we can send information through JSON very quickly and very easily. And nowadays, JSON is getting more and more priorities for data transfer. So, here is one JSON example. So, whenever you are finding this one, so this is one JSON object and here this is a, this is a one string array and it is another JSON object is there. You can find that here we are having this underscore id colon 100. So, this underscore id is nothing but the key and this 100 is the value. Each and every JSON document will be having one id there. And this ID, either you give this ID while creating this JSON document, the ID will be there. If you do not give, then system generated ID will be allocated. But one thing is very important that each and every JSON document must be having one ID. And ID should be written as underscore ID. So, this is the name, there is a key and there is a value name and there is a list of values we are having. So, it has been put as a string array. So, here we are having this address. So, this address, the value is also another JSON object. So, in this way you can find that how the things are taking place. Now, let us discuss more about this JSON document ID. So, this underscore ID is a 12 byte hexadecimal number which ensures the uniqueness of each and every document. And we can provide this underscore ID while inserting the document. So, we whenever we are inserting or creating a new document, we can put our ID accordingly. If we do not provide then, then MongoDB provides a unique ID for each and every document from the system. So, these 12 bytes has, so now we are having this 12 bytes for this uh, underscore ID. So, how this byte is getting divided? So, it is getting divided into 4 bytes plus 3 bytes, 7 bytes plus 2 bytes, 9 bytes plus 3 bytes. So, that is the 12 bytes. So, the first 4 bytes for the current timestamp, next 3 bytes for the machine ID next 2 bytes for process id or mongodb server process id of mongodb server last 3 bytes are simple incremental value so these are the this is the format of this 12 bytes now let us go for this bison so we have told that bison means actually binary json and it is not in the human readable format so the bison is a binary javascript object notation and in MongoDB, they, they use JSON to encrypt our JSON data because it is not readable, human readable. So, if it provides additional data types over the JSON data and it is also language independent and easy to parse and generate files from the machine. So, this is the JSON that is a encrypted JSON. So, here in this particular video, we have discussed the JSON and the Basin. So, we will be using this, this concept in the next videos. Please watch all of them and thanks for watching this.